Hi everyone and welcome to SoundBlab. In this video I will talk a bit about the inspiration behind this project, the design, the building process, answer a few questions from the build video comments and do a comparative sound test at the end. Now this build started with the idea to design and build something visually interesting using some tools, techniques and materials that I might not have used before in a build. Uh, many of the design decisions I made was for aesthetic purposes rather than for improving sound quality. Uh, when you consider the small 2 inch driver that I'm using, you can't really expect this to be the ultimate in sound quality. I did however measure the specs of the driver so that I can determine the correct enclosure volume which is roughly 1 litre. The passive radiator in the back is a 3 inch size and is there to help fill in some lower notes in the frequency spectrum. However, I'm probably not reaching much lower than 70 to 80 Hz roll off in the base section. There are no crossover or correction filter components. Each driver runs straight to the amp. Uh, the top end of this driver is slightly bright and previous measurements I took of these will confirm that. But like I said before, my intention was not to design a speaker that necessarily sounds fantastic. The copper frame is made from standard copper plumbing pipe, corners and tees, cut to the required length and put together with superglue. The elastic bands are undeniably the weak point in this design, at least visually, but it's what I had at the time uh, and they are so easy to replace with something better, which I will do in future when I get what I'm looking for. Uh, thanks to those that made some really good suggestions in the comments, I'll take those into consideration. Then of course no comment section is complete without a few people wanting to know what the point of these then are. If I'm not after good sound, then why would I build a speaker just for it to look good? Well, one, they don't sound that bad, and two, it was a fun project, fun to come up with a design, and lots of fun to build. Three, it's a bit of a conversation piece when friends come around and see them. To me, that is good enough, and I've achieved my goals then. If I wanted them to sound better, I would have used better drivers. Perhaps there is some more experimentation that I can do in a future project of similar nature, but using much better drivers. Thanks to everyone that liked and commented on the build video, I really appreciate your support and I'm overwhelmed with how well this video is doing. Thank you so much. I will end off with a comparative sound test where I will play the same songs after each other, first with the speaker suspended and second with the speaker not suspended. I'm doing this so that those of you that ask if and or stated that I will lose sound quality and in particular bass performance if the speaker is suspended due to the fact that the enclosure will move back and forth as the driver moves, essentially cancelling out some of the sound to some degree. I will not make any judgments on this, but leave you to decide for yourself. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so before. Uh, click that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And please consider supporting my channel, channel even further by becoming a patron. I will leave a link in the description or click the card top right corner coming up now. On to the sound test. Enjoy and until next time, adios. There is something in the air Like I have to go nowhere If someone ever asks me
I always want